Hi friends, Leslie McGrath from Scrapping Life Away at Blogspot.com here and this is step two in journaling by fives. I originally did this video last night and I lost the video. I didn't save it before I went to bed and um, yeah, so the computer restarted and it's gone. I have spent the whole morning trying to find it with no success. I have checked everywhere, but it is gone, gone, gone. So instead, I'm just going to have to do a flip through so that you can see my step two because I really want you to see it before I start my step three. And step two, my notes here, thank you, Shannon, um, is collage. It's texture. So it's collage craft, um, recycling. Item, recycled items. Um, so I don't have um, a really big magazine collection to go from and my husband really uh, <laughs> just kind of shook his head when I said oh, okay you know besides all the scrapbooking stuff I have um, yeah I'm gonna collect magazines too. <laughs> Why? So I can cut them up. So um, yeah I'm gonna I did the best I can with what I have. Um, I think for the words and stuff, because I don't have a lot of magazines yet, um, I'm going to have to stamp them and put them on. But I have a pretty good idea, I think, of where I'm going with this, um, with these pages. So um, it's amazing where you start with one thing and you just kind of get a vision in your head um, of where you're going to go. Now, my biggest hurdle is I may have a vision up here in my head, but can I get it on here? <laughs> so we'll see. And I guess the really, the only one that needs to understand my vision, I guess, is myself. Um, and I guess that's what's most important. And that's why I'm doing this, um, to really step out of the box. And so let's start and I will do a, um, flip through so you can see what I accomplished, um, in my 15 minutes. So, page one, I have my ice cream. I've got one, two, three, four, five scoops. So I'll do something with that. And I loved this smashed clock. Can you see? Look at this. this it cracks me up. The clock is smashed, which sometimes is the way I feel. It's like I need to smash this clock because it stresses me out. Next page. I found some beautiful daffodils and a little green planter and I thought that was really pretty and it kind of matched with the yellow and the orange in here kind of matched with some of the orange in there on the inside of the flowers. Loved, loved, loved this page. I found a bookshelf with old books on it and then I put some new books on it and um, a clock and then a dictionary page and then um, it looks like a watercolor painting or whatever of a girl reading a book but um, note to self I found out the hard way when you're going to use an old um, an old dictionary page or an old you know old paper with printing on it seal it first this is what I used um, to seal those kind of papers so they don't bleed all over the place. I tried to make some butterflies um, out of here. I stamped it and I cut them all out and then I was going to paint them and everything bled. It was a mess. So I learned the hard way. I sprayed it all and hopefully it won't run. But anyway, so that's this page. I love this page. There's a comfy chair with some purple flowers. And this is a border that I made using um, watercolors. And then I sprayed the top with um, some pearl glimmer mist just to add some shimmer to it. I remember I was all stressed out when I did step one about the um, borders, the edges of the pages um, being blank, but ha, I got that figured out, didn't I? All right, this is the next page. I do have a really great idea for this page. I know it looks just blank, 
because there's just two pieces of paper here, but I have an idea. All right, this is that, that cool green page with the green and the white, and then I put the orange. This is another part of that watercolor paper. And it's just not, I just used cardstock. It wasn't watercolor paper, but um, where I used the watercolor paint and um, some glimmer mists and worked with um, dripping it and just to get different textures on it and looks. And I just took a bunch of it and cut it all up into different shapes, just like this one, different shapes, triangles. So I just kind of cut them up thinking how would I be able to best use them on my pages. So that's what I did. And I thought triangles work great there. All right, now this is a special page. I know there's nothing on it yet. There is texture on it though. So I'll say this has texture on it already um, from the credit card when I scraped the paint on it. But I have a real special um, idea for this page only because the color blue in here um, really gave me an idea about something. Hint the word blue. That's a hint. There's something blue going on this page, the blue and red page. So I, as soon as I saw this, I just giggled to myself because I thought I know exactly what I want to do with this page. I love this, the hyacinths, I think these are called. I could be wrong, but they look like hyacinths to me. And there's fall flowers down here, so maybe not. But hyacinths are a spring flower that come up um, in early spring, and I just love the way they smell. They're just a, uh, someday I'll have um, my bulbs planted, and maybe someday I'll actually have spring flowers in my yard. I just haven't quite gotten that far yet. I loved this one. It's a dog. Look at his sunglasses. <laughs> I gave him sunglasses. And he's sitting on his owner's lap in a chair. Here we go. I must have a thing for purple flowers. And I must just have a thing for flowers. I don't know. Here's another odd shape of that watercolor um, paper that I did on cardstock. I just thought the orange and the green. And then the purple. Now this is a trellis and then these are butterflies that I stamped um, when I was hanging out with my granddaughter the other day. She was kind enough to let me keep three of them. She took the rest of them home and I just like the way the purples match the purple in here. And, and I just love, I love plants in a basket anyway. So it's what I love. So I threw it on there. This page, um, I just cut out some banners. This is out of a magazine. I cut that out. Um, and then I found a butterfly um, on some uh, Tim Holtz paper stuff. So I cut him out. And I've got multiple butterflies. And I'm sure I'll put more butterflies in here when I get to the free play stage. But I thought I have to put a butterfly down at least at one point. I loved these. I found these oranges and I glued them together so that I had enough to fit across the page if I wanted to use it. And they just matched the green here. I know it's really hard to see. This camera just doesn't give you a really good, you really can't see the color that well. And now my light's going to start causing issues here. Hold on. I'm going to close this light, turn this light back on. I get these lines that seem to roll while, um, while I'm filming and it drives me crazy. There. All right. In frame and ready to go. The next page. I loved this one. I found a music page and then I found, I had her out of a scrapbook, um, a page out of a scrapbook, uh, a scrapbook paper page. So I cut her out. She's got the notes, the music flying from her fingers. I just thought that worked really well. This is that page I hated so much. The poop page. The one I couldn't stand. I was, I was gonna borrow. <coughs> excuse me. Um, I thought I was gonna have to borrow Yvonne's poopostrophe stuff. Excuse me, while I get a drink here. Um, to to finish to finish this page, but 
the more I saw it, there's a lot of gold in here. And I just thought, you know, this just says music to me. So um, I had some papers in there and I just ripped it, ripped it out and threw it on. And see, this is stepping out of my comfort zone because I would normally ink these edges that I ripped. And I don't normally rip paper. So that's another thing. I ripped this out and I did not ink it. So thanks, Shannon, for helping me step out of my comfort zone. To me, when I look at this page, I think of the sea. I think of the ocean, which means I think of vacation. So this is going to be somehow a vacation page. I'm not sure how yet. But it just makes me um, think about a vacation. And um, when we went to Mexico back in 2005, no, 2006, um, for the first time. And it just this just reminds me of the color of the ocean. So, or water. It looks like water. So, all right. This one, I loved the bridge. And I had some of these cut out. Um, I love this, so I just stuck it on. A th something to anchor it down so it wasn't just floating. And all I got on here was a um, some music notes. This one, oh, look at these. They match in here beautifully. The greens and the yellows. This is a, I loved this. This is where I use my imagination with recycling. These are Reese cup wrappers. <laughs> the little miniature ones. Let me pick it up so you can see it. Look at that. They're Reese cup wrappers with gold glimmer mist on them. <laughs> Don't ask me what I'm going to do with them yet. I have no idea. But I just thought they matched this. This is kind of a fall looking and this is dark. I don't know. It just, I just loved it. So, see, I'm learning to recycle. And this is the last page. Um, I have no idea where this is going. I can't stand this. He may have to get covered up or come off. I don't like these. I love the feet. Love, love, love the feet. But this I don't like and this I don't like. So when it comes to free play, these may disappear or get covered up. Who knows? That's the grand idea. Maybe we'll just cover these up. So anyway, that is the last page in my journaling by fives step two. And today I will be working on step three, one, two, three. And there'll be, uh, and that part is the stamping, I think stamping and, um, yeah, rubber stamping and stencils. So I don't think I'm going to do any stencils. I think I'm going to do rubber stamping. I think I'm going to save the stencils for afterwards because I'm not real quick with stencils. Um, Maybe if I find a few, I don't know, they'll be quick and easy. I'll, I'll look and see what I've got, but um, I think stamping would be a lot quicker and easier. Um, and I don't want to waste any time on something that I'm unsure of. So anyway, that's, that's where I am right now. I hope you enjoyed this video. And thank you for going along with me on this journey. And uh, I will leave a link below. There we go, below for Shannon Green's Journaling by Fives. Um, this is just really a fabulous um, way to step, learn to step out of your box. And uh, I really got a kick out of watching everyone else's um, videos. And thank you very much. And everybody have a great day. Um, enjoy your summer day. And uh, we'll see you hopefully in the next day or two. Bye-bye.